Hi, I'm Coach Pokey Chapman. I welcome to another edition of Coach's Corner. Today we're going to talk about on-ball defense. Let's talk about on-ball defense. Uh, I think uh, first and foremost, uh, players must be committed to it. And I think as a coach, uh, it's how you build your team. It's how you build your, build your mindset, your philosophy. Uh, because everybody can be a good on-ball defender, not just the fastest, the tallest, uh, the most athletic. And I think it comes with that commitment to buy in. I think an aspect of defense that can't, uh, can't go without is you have to talk. You have to talk loud. You have to talk early. You have to talk often. And as it relates to specific on-the-ball defense, um, I think it's all about your stance. You know, so often when you're watching games, players are standing straight up uh, and they're making themselves just a step slower when that offensive player makes a move. They have to get down in that stance and they're too late. They have to catch up to the play, which normally results in uh, you know, something negative for the team. So I think it's about talking. Uh, if you're on the ball, you're saying ball, ball. It's about your stance and also your feet. Your feet have to be active. You know, sometimes players are on the ball defense, they're flat-footed. It makes them really, really slow. Make sure those feet are a little bit more than shoulder width apart. And also, you have to have active hands. Now, when we talk about active hands in Chicago, it's not just about getting a steal. It's about deflections. It's about blinding the basketball, not letting the ball see the action. Uh, and I feel that's a part of the game that everybody can contribute to, the smallest player, the tallest player, uh, the most athletic person, a player that plays two minutes or 40 minutes a game. Uh, and I think once that buy-in is there and players commit and see the value of those things, uh, you, you're on your way to being a pretty solid um, defensive team. And one last thing in terms of on the ball defense, you know, in this day and age, offensive players have gotten really, really crafty with all the head fakes and ball fakes. We like to tell our players to look at the midsection of the offensive player. That way you're in position to always stay between your man in the basket and hopefully lead your team in a direction of having some success. Here you can see Courtney Vandersloop, one of the better on-ball defenders in the league in my opinion. She's always active, uh, good hands. There's a switch. She's on one of the best offensive players in the league. Stays between her and the basket, high hands, disrupting her not able to get screened, she stays in front, really tough contested shot. You're not always looking to block shots, if you contest a shot, make it difficult. Here's Courtney again, making it difficult to initiate the offense, tough shot for a big post player. Again, the defense is obviously starting with the point guard, Forces a tough pass for a post player off the block. Here's Swin Cash. Nice stance between her man and the basket. She's really physical, high hands. Contest the shot. You're not always trying to block it. Make it tough and contest. So in recapping on ball defense, number one, be committed as a coach, be committed as a team. But as a player, be committed, don't gamble. I think number two, you have to be uh, verbal. You have to talk. You have to communicate when you're on the basketball. And also, I think you need to be in that good stance with your butt low, feet shoulder width apart, and active hands trying to wreak havoc on the offensive player.